guys, it's Nassim here. Now, I've been using the iPhone 13 mini for about three months now, and after using it day in and day out, I can honestly say that it's a really great phone, but I can see why it failed. And if you didn't know, Apple was discontinuing the iPhone mini series because surprisingly, it didn't sell very well, especially when compared to other phones in the lineup. And I'm not gonna lie, this was very shocking to me and a lot of other people, because if you look at it from a certain perspective, every single reviewer that got their hands on the iPhone 13 mini gave it a lot of praise. It had everything that the iPhone 12 mini had, but better, a better display, a better processor, a better speaker, and most importantly, a better battery. So the real question is, what went wrong? And to answer that question, I think that society has moved on from small phones as a whole. And that makes me pretty sad. Like for example, I handed my girlfriend the iPhone 13 mini and asked her what she thought about the phone. And she said, it's a really nice phone, but it's just way too small for me. And keep in mind that her hands are extremely small. So I was really shocked by her answer. But in honest truth, most girls don't like smaller phones, even though that they are the ones who are the most compatible with them. And that basically eliminates a great portion of the world from being interested in the 13 mini, which is horrible news for Apple. And even a lot of men aren't completely sold on the idea of the 13 mini. Like for example, I handed my 13 mini to my friends, and even though they grew to like the 13 mini, I could easily tell that they didn't take it seriously enough to buy it. And that's a serious problem when you're starting a new line of phones. But besides the first impressions with the phones, every phone in the mini series also faced backlash because of the extremely small battery, resulting in a very short battery life. And if you didn't, I would advise you to go check out my 13 mini day in the life video where I did an extreme battery test. And if you've seen that video, then you will know that my phone died right in the middle of the day, which is terrible compared to other battery tests. And in my opinion, I think that battery is the most important piece of hardware on a phone because when you think about it, you're the most limited when your phone can't even last you till the end of the day. You can't talk, you can't text, you can't browse the web, you can't play games, and most importantly, you can't even call authorities if you're ever in a dangerous situation. And after three months of me using the device every single day, I was only able to get three to five hours of on-screen time so I basically always had to have my portable charger on me at all times. And it sucks to admit it, but it's really hard to put a good battery in a small phone because it's just extremely limited on hardware. And this is just another reason why the world had to move on from smaller phones. But just because the world has moved on from smaller phones, that doesn't mean that there isn't a community of people that will really appreciate the mini series. And I, like many others, are pretty dang proud to be in that community. And despite some of its natural flaws, I still found the 13 mini to be a great phone when it came to everyday use. And one of the first things that got me hooked onto the 13 mini was indeed its size. And the size helped me a lot because I'm the type of person who wears skinny jeans. So whenever I put a bigger phone in my pocket, it often gets pretty uncomfortable for me. So it really helped when I had the 13 mini because it didn't fill my pockets all the way up and it wasn't heavy to the point where it was weighing me down. The size also helped whenever I realized how much my hand would hurt whenever I had to stretch just to reach to the top on bigger phones. But with the 13 mini, the one handedness really helped with the easiness of using a smartphone and I really appreciated it. And the last thing that I appreciated about the 13 mini size was the fact that it reminded me of the golden age of Apple. Back when the phones were smaller, back when phones had a square frame, back when you could easily use your iPhone with one hand, and back when you got a lasting impression on your iPhone. And the 13 mini gave me sentimental value because it just reminded me of a time when Apple really made phones that had character. And even though the golden age of Apple is long gone, the one piece of hardware that they still till this day make great is their amazing cameras. And when we look at the photos that I took with the 13 mini, we can see that during the daytime, a lot of the photos that I took were very colorful and vibrant, but also added a lot of realism to them. And that's the main reason why I love the 13 mini's camera, because it was real. It wasn't heavily filtered. It wasn't heavily sharpened. It was soft in the right places. It added color when needed. And it took some of the most authentic photos that I have ever seen on a phone at this price. It also was able to capture a lot of nature really well. Like as you can see here, whenever I took pictures of things like grass, trees, or even animals, it adds some color to the green without ruining the quality. And the quality wasn't altered whenever I took pictures in the house. It still captured my skin well. 
still was able to do a great job with great lighting and it still was able to show off colors in an accurate way. The only problem that I had with the camera inside the house was that there was some graininess whenever the lighting wasn't great and it lowered the quality of the whole photo. So if you're getting the 13 mini, I would advise you to try to get good lighting whenever you're inside the house. Now, when we look at the night mode photos, I would say that this is where the 13 mini impressed me the most because they were much better than expected. Like right here, I took a picture in very low light, but the 13 mini's night mode camera added some artificial light and made it look much brighter and sharper. The artificial light didn't take away from the colors of the pictures and the sharpness didn't take away from the realism, resulting in really great night mode photos. And the only problem that I had with the camera was particularly the selfie mode nighttime mode photos because they didn't capture my skin tone that well. My skin was always much paler than usual and I also had to take a lot of photos because the pictures were very blurry at times. And when we look at the inside night photos, I would also advise people to turn on their lights whenever they're taking pictures because the night mode wasn't great at all in the house and the graininess was very apparent, the quality was much lower, and the photos looked like they came from a different phone, so the night mode should only be used when you're outside. Now when it comes to the video of the 13 mini, I would say that this is the best video camera when compared to other phones at this price. The videos look very crisp, the focus was very accurate, and the audio was very good as well. And to show you what I mean, here are some videos that I took throughout my three months of using the phone. Now something else that I really loved about the iPhone 13 mini after using it for three months was the beautifully small 5.4 inch XDR display that was actually really good when I used it. And it was really surprising to me that I had as much fun as I did because even though the 5.4 inch screen was small, it still gave me the same satisfaction that I had with the 13 or the 13 Pro. The fact that everything was reachable with ease also made it a really great screen and made an overall enjoyable experience. But the only problem that I had was whenever I was recording videos on the 13 mini and wanted to show it to my friends, a lot of them were turned off from watching it because the screen was way too small. And again, this is why I say that people have moved on from smaller phones. People who are used to bigger phones and bigger displays are so comfortable that they leave out a huge market for smaller phones, resulting in plummeting sales. But besides the fact that my friends didn't enjoy videos on the screen, it didn't stop me from enjoying it. And to show you guys what the viewing experience is like, I have decided to show you some videos on the 13 mini's display. Squeezing it shut. Oppo is saying that this phone will show the crease up to 80% less than other foldables. Which, uh, at least from my eight days of using it, pretty much means you can't see it when the screen's on. Now, the final thing that I was amazed by when it came to the iPhone 13 mini was how well it handled iOS 15. The haptics were incredibly fast and accurate, making it feel like I was handling a top tier flagship phone. And even when I was going through different apps, you can just see how smooth everything is. And the only thing that I didn't like was the fact that Apple didn't make the screen 120 or even 90 hertz because every other phone in this price range has a much better refresh rate. It upset me even more because I will be using my iPhone 13 Pro, then I will start using the iPhone 13 mini and suddenly noticed that it wasn't as smooth and ultimately felt like a cheaper device. But besides that, I still really enjoy iOS 15 on the mini. The apps were smaller, the widgets were smaller, and even texts were smaller, so it gave off a really cute toyish feel for me. And I can definitely say that as far as comfort goes, the 13 mini is the best in that category. It did everything that I loved about the regular iPhone and added comfort, style, and nostalgia in the process. And even though the world has moved on from smaller iPhones as a whole, I wanna thank the iPhone 13 mini for reminding me of a much simpler time and also being a great phone to the people who were willing to try it out. And if you are someone who was willing to give the 13 mini a chance, then I would say go ahead because you'll be surprised at how great this phone will be. And maybe thank me later and every other reviewer later. So see you guys in the next one. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It'll be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Baby.